Alrighty, well, hi everybody. Uh, back on it, oh, back on again, and um, kind of uh, give you a little bit of history here. Um, I, I tell you, I just felt like I felt like watching some uh, pinball vids, vids this evening. But um, one of I typed on pinball in the search box, and one of the first things that came up was the top ten greatest pinball machines of all time, which I'm sick of seeing because it's always gonna be, I mean, the top. I mean, kind of dumb having these because. It's going to be Adam's Family, Medieval Madness, Monster Bash, Twilight Zone. Did I already say Medieval Madness? Yeah, Adam's Family, Medieval Madness, Monster Bash, Creature from the Black Lagoon, I think. Twilight Zone. But I... It, it's gonna it's gonna have at least those five tables in there, so there's hardly any, and we all know they're the greatest of all time, so there's hardly any point in having a top ten list. That was until I think I scrolled down a little more and I saw this, the top ten most overrated pinball machines. Oh so now okay, now this is a top ten list I'd I've wanted to see for a long time. I mean again, i all the top ten lists are all gonna have the same tables. Making them totally, making them totally pointless to even make the top ten list. I mean, but, but anyway, I'm gonna do what I normally do on these. <clears throat> I'm just gonna do some running commentary on them. So, um, so this one here is gonna be somewhat rehearsed. I got as far as number eight, and I figured uh, this would be a good time to make a commentary video out of. So, but I kind of fast forward warped to like about a minute and a half to where they actually do the top ten list. So, here we go. The 10th most overrated pinball machine. It's got to be Kingpin, man. The Capcom game. Sure, Never even Kingpin. heard of it. It's fun. Uh, the guys at uh, Circus Maximus, oh. I think, were trying to... And what I'm also going to have a V8 that? energy but drink. You know, that was Peach mango it's flavor. Decent. It's fine. The remake, but... Not well, like I said, I never even heard of it. Oh. I think originals still go for like fifteen, twenty thousand yeah. dollars. You can buy nice. so much more game than that. Yeah. And I like the spinners on the ramps. It's clever, but there's not enough there, people. No. Don't keep valuing that pin no. so high. That's over. Oh, and also, for um, for those that are curious, the name of the our YouTube channel, I believe, is straight down the middle. I've never heard of them. Like I said, this is my first time checking out one of their videos. So, rated. the number nine most overrated pinball machine is one that I loathe. I hate it. Uh, even some of my friends, what, including Raymond Davidson. Raymond Davidson is the number one pinball player in the entire earth, the world. <laughs> he loved this game. Ray Day, you're just wrong, man. It's Family Guy, yeah. or Shrek. Take your pick. Yeah. Sorry, mm. Pat Lawler. Mm. They're both. I wouldn't. I probably wouldn't get into Shrek. I'm not a fan of it. I'm not a fan of the show. Not a sh not a fan of the franchise. I mean, to me, I think it's dumb and stupid. Like, in my mind, worse than uh, worse than South Park. At least with South Park, I mean, there's actually like you know lots of swearing and there's lots of uh, lots of naughty stuff. You know, stuff that isn't mainstream. Whereas Shrek is about as mainstream as they come. So, not a fan. So, but uh, I've never seen the Shrek table. So, but if I did, I'd probably, I'd probably steer clear of it. Uh, Family Guy, never seen the real life table, but I, but I have played it on Pinball FX3. It's actually one of my favorites. I, I mean, I've played that table a ton, but I'm kind of burnt from playing it so much. But yeah, Family Guy on the FX3 is actually one of my favorites. Shit yeah. layouts, they both suck. I don't know. I feel like I'm playing a single-level game. I had a oh. friend who drove forever to go pick up a Family Guy, got it, and he was kind of like, "That's it." Yeah, and there's there are a lot of money. Yeah, they are. They're they hold their cheap. value. Yeah, they're not cheap. Oh. I've just never been a big. I'm like you. Shitty like, game. Yeah. Give me a give me a Data East Lethal Weapon over over. That only started, heard the name. Just something oh. in there, you kind of like like South Park's not a bad game, but you still had that same level. Yeah, yeah. Park, like over. the way the plate builds were made. But, uh, look, um, I have played the South Park pinball table, if, but for back in the back in the nineties, uh, from what I remember of it, it's actually a pretty decent table. I kind of I kind of wish they would make a they would make a South Park for uh, pinball FX three, 
but I doubt that'll happen. Just, like, it's just something just no. about that tone. And every time it goes up the upper little mini play field. Uh, oh, God, you got BBs. Mini shooting. balls. Sucks. That yeah. game blows. Yeah. Way over. Stop talking about it, pricing it. That's a $2,800 game. Yes, and I wouldn't buy it. No. I wouldn't buy it. So and again, I'm not a fan of the Shrek franchise, oh, so I thought I'd probably like the table either. That's some unique stuff. The and again, toy, right in the middle. That I like game. Shrek even less than I like South Park. Number eight. This game pisses me off too. Why do people like? I'm a, I'm a little angry here. Why do people like this game so much? I don't know. Again, a Pat Lawler. I'm sorry, Pat. Safe cracker. Oh, like I don't know if it's. Uh, not a fan of this table either. I didn't. I never knew it was up. I never knew it was popular. Um, I've never seen the table in real life, but uh, pin, both Pinball FX3 and Pinball Arcade have them. I played them both, and I'm not a fan. Um, if they got if they got rid of the board game that was in the back glass, that to me killed. That's probably the biggest reason why I can't stand that table. And uh, if they uh, if they uh, jacked up the default time or I think the, the default time limit to like five minutes and not 30 seconds, I'd probably like it even more. Or I'd probably actually like it. But no, so it's definitely a... They're, they say overrated, I say... Um, or excuse me, they say most overrated, I say most hated. So, yeah. It's like the weird nostalgia of it with the coins and everything. I, I don't know. I don't get it. Maybe. It's like collectors, because but. I remember when I first got into pinball, like people touted it was one of those things like safe cracker. No, I safe hate cracker. the format. It's like a time-based thing. I hate the layout. How it's um, the time-based is actually pretty doable. I mean, like, like it's, he he hates the time limit, but I'm pretty sure if uh, if they jacked up that oh let me let me back up a bit. For those that don't, for those that have never seen safe cracker, um, the game is based on a time limit. Um. Some of the modes in Pinball FX3, uh, survival mode, five-minute mode, are, um, Safe Cracker has that same kind of mode. Uh, by default, the time limit is set to 30 seconds. You have 30 seconds of free play until when the timer hits zero, though, you're in sudden death. The next time the ball drains, it's game over. Um, you can increase the time, but the time increase is so... It's so minuscule. It's not even worth, not even worth going for. So. But anyway, um, maybe if they jacked up that time limit to like one minute or, uh, not even, one minute wouldn't work. I'd probably say five minutes. Jack it up to like, jack it up to like five minutes or something. I might actually tolerate the table, but until then, nope. Smaller, yeah. it doesn't feel good. No. I feel like I'm shooting for a fucking b bubble gum. Yeah. He's a bubble gum. Yeah. I played one in a show, like when when when, the, when I first got into pinball, because people were talking. About, I was like, oh, "There's a safe crack," and there was a line, and like I was like, "I want to play this," and I was just like, "I got a better play it," and I was like, mm, no. "No, no, this is not what I like." Uh, why? Why are people talking about this? Oh, that's that's yeah. another Pat Lawler. Yeah. The next one comes with a comes with a disclaimer. Um, I do not agree with this. And I think Gray uh, was smoking crack or some substance when he urged and pushed and said, you know what, you got one on the top 10 underrated list. I'm going to give you this one. And you guys see it on the screen right now. Whitewater. Whitewater. I think it's terrific. Okay. Um, Whitewater, um, for, for me, it's a, the table is about average, maybe slightly above average. But I... Uh, uh, in real, I've never seen the table in real life, but I have played it in Pinball Arcade and FX3. The FX3 one is absolute shit. They should never have made an FX3 version of it. Um, the Pinball Arcade version, again, I, it's about average, maybe slightly above average on a good day. But I never knew it was that popular, so I'll defer to them on that. I love that game. Full disclaimer. Okay. When we were compiling this list a while back, I, I don't wrong? I don't know what mood I was in when I was Bad. arguing against this. I think some of it came to price point for what it you It is get. priced high. Yeah, it, it's the the rules aren't as deep. No, as no, they aren't. That that's the, thing. Not even a the the rules of Whitewater. 
generally speaking, hit what's flashing. So yeah, that that's the basic rule. Just hit whatever's flashing. No, that's what I'm saying. I, that was kind of my major argument. Okay. Um, after some form of reflection, I do very much enjoy the shooting of this Send game. hate mail right in the comment section below. But, game's great. again, for the price and what you get, and I mean, the theme's pretty cool, it looks pretty cool, but it's still the code on that okay. game right. at that price. There's a lot better games that you can get for that price. That's fine. You're and wrong. everybody touts me. But, but again, the um, the overratedness kind of goes over my head. I've never seen the table before in real life. I've only seen it on Pinball Arcade and FX3. So, but again, I'd probably give up. On FX3, I'd probably give it a score of freaking one. And maybe if I'm in a freaking bad mood, probably zero. But, or I'd say, no, 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 no. One to ten, I'd probably give it a two. On a bad day, probably give it a one. But arcade, however, I probably rate it like five, maybe six. So, you know what's going to make people even more angry is our number six, because I think the game sucks. Now this is and everybody's gonna this is the reversal of Whitewater. Yeah. I didn't want this in the list, or uh, no, I, you did want. I it. wanted it. In the I list. tried to say yeah. no, and you're like, if I'm going to give you Whitewater, yeah, exactly. you're giving me this, <sighs> Batman sixty six. You heard it. Not a fan. Sure, George Gomez. Not a fan. I'm not being a hip. If it's the one I'm thinking of, I'm not a fan of the modern ones. And I'm not being a hipster when I say this. It's just, it's probably the big the big killer is it's got a big-ass TV screen in there. This alone already makes it very difficult for me to play because now, I mean, I got to sit here and fucking watch TV along with playing pinball. Um, I'm, And uh, again, I'm not not being some hipster or anything like that, but uh, there was an old school uh, 80s pinball game. In fact, I can think of two. One is called Granny and the Gators. And um, the other one, it wasn't Pac-Man or Pac-Man Pinball. Pac-Man Junior or Pac-Man Baby or something like that. But those are one of the early ones where it was both a pinball machine and a video game. But, um, so I, I lean slightly towards those older ones because, again, there's an actual video game part of the part of the scene, right? You know, you're actually using the Granny and the Gators. I think um, the way the control scheme worked, left flipper paddled your canoe left, or turned your canoe left, right flipper turned your canoe right, hitting them both at the same time, uh, moved you forward. Um, I think the start button, the start button, you you swung your uh, you swung your canoe paddle at alligators, but yeah, I mean to me. But again, these are actual video games. You know, you would switch from pinball mode to video game mode, and then back and forth like that. Uh, Baby Pac-Man, I think, was the same way too. But uh, Batman '66. Um, and to be fair, I've never actually played the game, but if it, I think I've seen it. And if it's the one they're talking about, all it is is just a damn TV screen. I. I that's going to be way too distracting right there. Again, I want to play pinball, not watch TV. So, it just, it's just, it's one of those, I mean, I mean, you could probably, you could probably get, you can probably get real deep and philosophical and existential and whatnot about, you know, how technology is, you know, technology has ruined us. You know, you might be a fan of the band Devo. A lot of their, uh, a lot of their music is centered around that. But I mean, but I mean, I'm, so, but I mean, that aside, it's just having that big old TV screen there where I have to play and then watch, play and then watch, play and then watch, play and then watch. That gets way too distracting. So, again, I'm there to play pinball, not watch TV. Sure, it's Lime and Sheet. Sure, it's Capel. But sure, it's effing boring. No, okay, it's yes, boring. it is. It's fun. I am yes, it is. Again, I want to either play pinball. I want to, I want to play pinball, not watch TV. Um, and, um, it's kind of a corollary to this. I've never been a fan of video modes. So all I, I mean, I would probably say the best, I mean, I, I'd say the best, uh, the best videos or best screens I've seen are probably going to be the 90s DMXs or whatever they were called. 
Um, you know, simple animations. Um, you know, simple animations, simple scores, simple descriptions. You know, you know, game, you know, gameplay info, status reports, etc. Um, you know, it's simple black and orange. It's a lot easier for me to see. You know, a lot easier to translate. I mean, unlike these here, again, these are full, mo I mean, these are full, these are full movies right here. I mean, that's a lot for me to have to take in, as well as having to play at the same time. I'm not going to be able to decipher this whole, probably this, uh, 1080 pixel image here. I mean, I'm kind of busy playing pinball, so. Joey, I'm not, like, into that era, either, of, of, of Every, Adam West Batman, but it's yeah. just, well, every time somebody tries to look up for this game, I always ask them one thing, and they leave me with a non-answer. What's your favorite shot on that game? Um, <laughs> not really a good shot on that. You know what's bad is that is the only game that I think that I like we have the cream. disagreed on. In I hate all that of game. Pimple. Love it. Nope. Love it. That, but no. I can see where that it can be overhyped oh, for what it is. Yes. Because it is. It's holding well, value I mean, code, well. Who gives a shit? It's boring. It is. It, it's it's. Pretty pen, like he'd call I, it boring. I'd call it distracting. That it is slightly overhyped for the way it shoots and the layout. And That's the all I can give you. And but, um, everything. Again, once again, to reiterate, I've never actually seen this table other than like what they're showing here and what I've seen on other video footage on other videos. All I saw was this big old that big old TV screen in there, and I knew already I wasn't gonna like it. I don't like having. I mean, again, too distracting. Sorry to sound like a broken record. That rotisserie, record. George Gomez, is a genius, and that rotisserie is so complex. But when I hit a damn ramp, and then I got to hit the phone that's lit, and it's not fucking turned yet, yeah. and I got to try to... No, it's a fail. That game is no bueno for It's me. fun. Art looks nice-ish. I think theme and I think theme and code go a long way on that. Long way down the shitter, because that game sucks. The most, the top five. We're in the top five now. The fifth most overrated pinball machine of all time. <laughs> We're really gonna make people mad as we go up on this list. Elvira and the Party Monsters. That's popular. Never knew that. I figured out most people never even knew that table existed. I figured out the most popular table was probably uh, Elvira Scared Stiff. Never knew it was the Party Monsters though. Um, I have this table. On Pinball Arcade, um, I'd probably say probably like Whitewater, about average, maybe slightly above average. Okay, and um, as it's beginning to get dark in my apartment, real quick, I'm gonna go flip my lamp on. I'll be back in a moment. But again, again, um, trying to pick, trying to pick up where I left off. Um, um, Elvira and the Party Monsters. I have it on Pinball Arcade. I think I might have seen the table in real life, probably one time, for a very short period of time, and then never saw it again. So, I do have it on Pinball Arcade though, and again, um, I would probably give it a rating of. Six ish. Probably somewhere between five to seven, depending on what kind of mood I was in at the time. So, slightly above average. It's a fine game. It is fine. It's fine. It's fun. But it gets really boring. Good. You can just keep shooting it and keep stacking. Okay, and this, this, I did. And I made a comment about this too. On, on this too. Man. The Elvira on the back glass, her tits are bigger than Elvira herself. Like, my God. I bet even Elvira took a look at herself in the black back glass, looked at her boobs, and went, Oh, they're not that fake. And it's not, not that great. No, it's not overly difficult. Give me a lot of other System 11s yeah. at half the price. Yeah. Give me any other Hell, Elvira pin. I think she was actually pretty modest with her boob job. And, and it's another one that that's probably it's it's overrated with the price of people buying it because I, I would own one. 
I, I would like one. That could say theme wise. Nowhere near going to pay the price for it because the game does not hold up to the price and to the way that people hype it. And um. Also, one other thing I need to mention about the table, it's got a. I think it's got two. It's got the safe. One of the safest ramps in all of pinball. Like a lot of other tables, when you try to shoot for a ramp, if it don't go all the way up, more often than not, it goes all the way back down the drain. Uh, Bram Stoker's Dracula is a prime example of that. These, but this table here, at least as far as the pinball arcade version goes, if a, if the ball don't go all the way up, it goes all the way down towards one of the flippers. Like if you can't get it all the way up the left ramp, and then it just drops right back down to the left flipper. Same with the right ramp. If it don't go all the way up, it goes all the way down straight to the right flipper. So very safe ramps. The, the, the want for this game. There's better rule sets in System 11. Very much so. And that that's, again, it's the weak point. It falls into those rules. It shoots it shoots pretty good. Tip that one ramp, it's fine. Yeah, I like that It's fun. But it's just so, not where it is. It's a it's a freaking $1,700 game, $2,000 game. Yeah, and they go that's for $4,000. $2,000, $2,300. Let's, let's give it, let's get up there. $2,300. bucks. It is all that that game is worth. Take your money elsewhere. I think the only reason for anybody to ever is throw and take. The only reason anybody should ever own Party Monsters is if you have the other two games and just want to complete yeah. the trifecta. And people pay stupid money for beat-up ones. Yeah. Why? That's like Batman. There's not a good Batman game. No. I don't like any of the Batman games. No. Hmm. I am Dead East. I'm the Forever. Batman Forever? Oh. Yeah, they're all okay. I know. You're a Batman fan. Yeah. The number four most overrated pinball machine is one that is a beauty. It is a beauty. People love it. It's a Gottlieb, and it's rare. Yeah. And it's it made That's our top list for, for top back classes. Yeah. It's Spirit. Never even heard spirit. of it. Yeah. It's pretty. It is pretty. It's multi. It, it takes a lot of risk. Got multi levels in it. Yeah. And some people really like the code. They really love that game. Yeah. Yeah. Like I said, I never even heard of it. Sleep. I think there's so nothing. It looks like a Xenon ripoff. You want to go back for no, more. No. Again, you're paying a hefty price tag for it, mm -hmm. and people demand it. One of the ones that didn't make, this reminds me, one of the ones that didn't make our list, um, and people are going to get mad at me, Alien Star. People love Alien Star. It looks Never heard cool. of it. It's Never just Alien Star. Ah, it's boring, man. Long ball tie. It's just boring. Another I know there's a thing. You do the thing. No. no. Boring, boring, boring. No. Ooh, the number three. This could get remade. I just don't understand why. I, I don't Every get time it either. I hear it. The third most overrated pinball machine of all time is Cap another Capcom. Yes. Big Bang Ball. I don't get it. Um, nope. It's neat. Heard of it? Sure. It looks neat. Never seen it. It's got fluorescent yeah. plastic. There's rarity, but when there was talks, and, and I, I love the company, and I'm not even going to mention them because I love the people there. Um, but well, like, um, the talks of this getting re I have a, like in various forums and various other places I've checked out, um, there's some people that do have Big Bang Bar or whatever, I think that's what it's called, at the top of their list. But again, I've never seen this table before. I've only heard of it. Made Still, when I think about it today, it, it never makes sense to me of why that it's getting remade. Like, I, I don't know. I, and I, I just for the rarity, I guess. Yeah, I don't understand because it's not, not a, a fun if you game. Shoot it, it's not, not a good no, game. No, it, and like Cactus Canyon, I, I can get behind Cactus Canyon. There's some quirkiness. That's a fun game. It's fun. Cactus, like a um, Cactus Canyon, um, again, never seen the table in real life, but I have it on Pinball Arcade. I would probably rate it average. Just probably somewhere between four to six, on a scale of one to ten. I'd rate it between four to six, depending on my mood. Shots, I do too. So I can get behind that. Like the the strip pole, like. But uh, Cactus Canyon is basically the Wild West equivalent of Medieval Madness. If, if you guys can envision that. No, I Dancer, don't get alien. it. I don't get it at the all. left ramp is cool. I think it's one of those things that's just purely driven by the rarity. I think Pinball Magic is cooler. Pinball Magic is. Yes. Pinball Magic's actually, it's a pretty yeah. good game. Yeah. Those those mechs and what they do with them are fun. It's it's a neat structure to that code. It's not bad. I don't get Big Bang Bar. No, I don't either. Looks Never cool, have. but no. No. Can't overrated. Very Sorry. overrated. Sorry, overrated. That should have been number one. You got an expensive piece of turd if you got it in your collection. Mm, okay. The wait is over. A revolution in drum lighting. Oh, what? Endless. Bomb 
machine. Kind of a bad place to put an ad. Your blades. Now to see. Numbers don't lie. I get my best two and I want it. I know you but want this over. game, but it is so overrated. Yep. It's showtime. It's Adam's family. Yes. <laughs> the most overrated pinball machine of all time is Adam's family. Uh, we are definitely in agreement on this. The appeal of this damn table is lost on me. I don't get it. I mean, but yeah, I'm, it's also one of the most annoying because damn near any place I go, I've gone to throughout my life that has pinball machines has this in there. And so, yeah, it... The hell? Oh, anyway, but yeah, every, every place that has pinball has this in there. I am sick of seeing it. It's, um... It's kind of a, it kind of parallels with uh, all this, uh, all the crappy uh, music that I've been forced to listen to at all my jobs for 30 years. I mean, a lot of the, re a good chunk of the reason why I hate the music so much is because they play the shit every day. I'm sick of hearing it. Same thing with the Adams Family. Wherever there's pinball, there's Adams Family. I'm tired of seeing it. I, I don't, I don't get the appeal of it. I, I kind of. I mean, I kind of get why everybody else likes it because people in general are sheeple. You know, so if you, um, if a bunch of people like Adam's family, a whole bunch of other people are also going to like Adam's family because they tend to follow the herd. That's that herd mentality. So, yeah, that, but again, again, part of, part of the reason why I can't stand Adam's family. Oh, and, uh, and, uh, and the, Unlike other tables that they've mentioned, I have played this in real life. So, this isn't just pinball arcade we're talking about. I have played this in real life. For me, it was nothing to write home about. Nothing just made me go ooh and ah or anything like that. It was just, it was just a table. It's pinball. So, yeah, I'm going to play it. But that's it. Nothing really impressed me about it. Again, all I know is, I'm sorry to sound like a broken record, but... Where if a place has pinball, it's gonna have Adam's family. It's frickin' annoying. Cool I mean, and I understand. A, I understand. A company wants to make some money back on the money they spent. You know, they spent five thousand dollars on an Adam's family pinball machine. Yes, or or they want no. They want to get pinball of some kind in their art in their theater, arcade, whatever, and they want to be able to make money on those machines. So, I understand that, but, you know, it doesn't make things, you know, it doesn't make things any easier for somebody like myself, you know. You know, it just makes me like that table less and less. But anyway, I'll, I'll let them move right along, because I could probably complain all day on this. List of overrated pinball machines this should fall into. Oh god, yeah. And I want it, I want to own this game. It's a fun sometime. game. It's a fun game. But again, you know how we go back and we talk about before about how you know how I know that this pin is very underrated is because people keep it in their collection. Yes. People tout this game and when they own it and they have it, they love it. Adam's family is the opposite. Yeah. Everyone that I've ever talked to that owns an Adam's family says, Yeah, really liked it, but well, everybody, if you're a pinball person... They left early. Yeah, if you're a pinball person, it's like Twilight Zone. you got to own it at least once. Yes! And when you're playing that one game that is fun in Adam's Family, nothing comes close to it. No! But when that game is over and you see the wagon, and once that's over... Yeah. You don't want to play it again. No, it's very short-lived. And, and that's, Magnets are cool. Yeah. I like the ball diverter. I like the thing. Yeah. I but like again... The, there's modes in it. I like the start. Again, I have played this table in real life before. It, it's pinball. I mean, I, nothing about the table made me, oh, God, this is so awesome. No, it was just, da -da 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 -da, and that's it. So, There's so much to like, Greg, but theme's fantastic. Once you get through Beautiful. it and tour the mansion. Oh, yep. and I also forgot to mention, I have, I've seen the movie many years ago, but I remember next to nothing about it. So, again, that was probably a movie that just went in one eye and not the other. Nothing really impressive about it.
for it anymore. No. And that's what I've heard from everybody, and that's the only thing that keeps me from buying is I don't want to spend that much money, yeah. and I don't want to lug it to the basement and then pull it out in three weeks. It's, it's, done. it's really like the film. You go back and watch that film, it's a damn good film. It's yeah. a fun film. I didn't, once you see it, you're like, yeah, no, I'm going to I didn't get into it. I'm not, re- I'm not watching it again next week because it was so Not good. worth the money. No. Okay. And your most overrated, overrated pinball machine. I want to say Number Medieval Madness. Time. Now this is going to make all the competitive players very angry. Very, very angry. It's a Stern Electronics game. Oh. It's one that goes for so damn much money. It is one of the ugliest. Okay. Games. I'm beginning to think that uh, these guys have kind of a different point of view than I do. These guys are actually collectors. They collect pinball games. So I'm assuming that all the machines you see behind them, they own. Because they're, they're talking, to, they're, they speak a lot in terms of value for the money. It, it, I just now noticed this. Damn. But yeah, they're... So yeah, they, they collect them. They might even possibly... Uh, they might even uh, restore them and then sell them back. They might even do that as well. But yeah, it just, I just noticed this. Small machines that I've ever yeah. seen. It's all green. And it's Quicksilver. Oh, Never heard of it. Puke. Oh wait, 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 wait. Let me take that back. Um, I, I thought they said that this is one of the more modern tables. I think there was a Quicksilver table back in the eighties. I've probably seen it. I mean, I've never. Does it ring a bell? I've probably never seen it in real life, but I think um. I want to say legendary pinballer Bowen Karens. He often does uh. He often does tutorial videos on various pinball machines. I think he might have done a tutorial on this one. If he did, then that was probably my one and only experience with Quicksilver. Otherwise, I've never even heard of it. Old green play field. Can't do it. I, I don't. I'll never understand Quicksilver. No. I'll never understand. Okay. Gazer, um. From I what I see get here. I get it. Even yep. 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 I think he's um. Ball and Karens has actually done a tutorial on this one. Um, I'm hoping you guys can see my mouse pointer. But, uh, she would often talk about the set of drop targets. They're actually dangerously placed because if you hit, if you hit one particular bank at, at the wrong angle, it's guaranteed to go straight into the left out lane. To a certain degree, they perfected with B. Yeah, I think he has done a tutorial on this one. Quicksilver? Quicksilver needs a lot of work. No, doesn't no. do anything for me. I don't even care about the rules. Uh, the rules are fine. I get it. Nope. Yeah. Nope. If you're going to spend that much for that expensive time, yeah, he, yeah. buy seven meteors. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, these guys are collectors, definitely. That game su- and the placement of that center bank and a sweepable. I don't give no. a shit. So is a lot of things. Yeah. It, it might be sweep. Put it, in the, in the it might be sweepable, but like I said a few moments ago, if you hit that bank just wrong, it's going to go straight into the left out lane. In the middle of the play field like that? That game is just not worth it. It it's is just, not like said, it's worth so ugly. it. And oh, we, the side cabinet sucks. The bag glass sucks. It. No. It's just, a, it, and I, it, like you said, tournament players, it's fine. But I don't even know where, people, where did people even come up with loving that game so much? I don't know. I know a lot of my Maybe friends the right name. now that are into head pinball. They're like, I hate you, Zach. And everything straight down the middle stands for. <laughs> but, but you can't say that it's not overrated. Self, that yeah. thing is yeah. Yeah. Look at it as a whole. When people talk about, I wonder if Stern is ever going to redo like they did Sea Witch to Beatles. I want them to redo and Quicksilver. They talk about Quicksilver. I'm like, no, no, don't ruin a good theme on that turn. No, please don't. No. Hate that game. It makes me hate scared. It. Wasn't there rumor though for yes. a little bit that that's what? Uh, um, uh, yeah, I know what you're Led Zeppelin about. was going to yep. be. Was a Quicksilver oh. theme? And I was like, don't ruin Led Zeppelin. Oh, yes, God. I totally agree with that. Leave the, leave the frickin' bands alone. I mean, yeah, I, to me, it's too trendy, though. That That's the word that I keep coming back to. It's too freaking trendy. You know, the Beatles, you know, and then they did the Rolling Stones, and then ACDC. They're doing remakes on popular bands. I mean, I think they should, if anything, they should buck the trend and start making tables based on obscure bands, like uh, like Kraftwerk, or hell, maybe even The Residents, my all-time favorite band. But I, I, but if you ever hear heard any of their music, 
I totally understandable why they wouldn't want to make a table, pinball table based on the residents. Nobody, nobody's going to touch that game. They'll probably take one look at it, maybe play it for a little while. Oh my God, my eyes. And I mean, never seen and heard from again. So totally, totally wouldn't blame them there. So, but otherwise, I think they're, uh, they're probably just going to do like their, make their closing statements and stuff like that. And, well, thanks for checking us out. And don't forget to like and subscribe and subscribe. And don't forget to like and subscribe and subscribe. So, so I'll just go ahead and cut it off here. But otherwise, I had a pretty good time overall doing the commentary on this. So, um, and I hope you guys like it too. So, but otherwise, so thanks for thanks for drop thanks for watching everybody, and see you all next time. Bye now.